This video will show you a full run-through of catheterizing a male pelvis. To begin with, clean your trolley with a Clonel wipe. Clean first the top, then the bottom surfaces, starting in the centre and spiralling out towards the edges. Then wash your hands using the seven steps of hand hygiene. Put the hand wash on the bottom of your trolley and then collect the rest of the items needed. Take a catheter, size 12 to 14 French for a male, and a catheter bag. Check the labels. Take a sterile water and check it is in date and a chlorhexidine wipe. Take a sterile wound care pack and a lubricant syringe, 11 milliliters for a male. Collect one pair of non-sterile gloves and two pairs of sterile gloves. Wash your hands again using the seven steps of hand hygiene. Put on your non-sterile gloves and go over to the patient. Expose the patient and then retract the foreskin. Then remove your gloves using the pinch-pull technique and wash your hands again. You must always wash your hands before putting on and after removing gloves. Take the wound care pack and remove the outer packaging before placing it on the trolley. Carefully lift up each corner in turn and open out the wound care pack. Touch only the corners and the outside of the sheet. Lift up the orange bin bag and insert your hand into it, holding the back of the bag with your opposite hand. Arrange the field by removing aside the sterile gloves which you will not need to use, the field extender sheet and the patient drape sheet. Invert the bin bag, ensuring you do not touch the outside of the bag once inverted. This can be used for throwing out waste when you are wearing sterile gloves. Stick the bin bag to the side of the trolley nearest the patient. Take the lubricant out of its packet and drop onto the field. Pick up the sterile water and the chlorhexidine wipe. Check that the water is in date. Open the top of the wipe packet and then the top of the water packet. Use the wipe to thoroughly clean the top of the water packet. Pour the water into the plastic tub in your field without touching the packet to the tub or field. Now you will need to put on your first pair of sterile gloves. For this, you open the package and then wash your hands using the seven steps of hand hygiene. Then put on the sterile gloves in a sterile technique. Go over to your sterile field. Pick up the non-textured sheet, which you will use to extend the sterile field to the other side of the trolley, overlapping the sheet slightly. Pick up the textured sheet and take it to the patient. Open it out and place it under the penis 
over the scrotum and over the tops of the legs. Pick up the first piece of sterile gauze and dip it in the water. The first clean should go down the urethral meatus and around the coronal sulcus to the patient's right. The second clean should go down the urethral meatus and around the coronal sulcus to the patient's left. The third clean should go down the urethral meatus. Pick up the lubricant syringe, remove the cap and apply a small amount of lube to the urethral meatus. Then insert the tip of the syringe into the urethra and administer the remaining lube. Try to angle the penis upwards as you insert the lubricant. Remove your sterile gloves using the pinch pull technique and then wash your hands using the seven steps of hand hygiene. Pick up the catheter and check the label, ensuring it is size 12 to 14 French for a male pelvis. Open the package and allow the catheter to fall onto your sterile field. This is easiest to do if you hold the package plastic side down as shown. Ideally here, you would place the packet on the bottom of your trolley to retain the labels. Then open the package to your catheter bag and drop that onto the sterile field as well. Ensure no part of either of these falls out with your sterile field. Then open the package for your second pair of sterile gloves. Get them ready to put on and then wash your hands using the seven steps of hand hygiene. Put on your sterile gloves in a sterile technique. You may now touch your sterile field. First, open the packet and take the cap off the water for inflation of the balloon. Next, take the cap off the catheter bag. Then you open the back end of the perforated bag for the catheter. At this point, it is helpful to hold the front of the perforated bag as well, to stop it waving around and potentially becoming contaminated. Once the back end is open, connect it to the catheter bag and take the whole thing over to the patient. Place the bag down onto your protective sheet and then open the front of the perforated bag around the catheter, ensuring you do not touch the catheter itself with your gloves. Grasp the penis with your left hand and insert the tip of the catheter into the urethra. Rip open the perforated bag as you go, ensuring that you are touching only the perforated bag. At some point, in a real patient, you would see urine flowing down the catheter. In an exam, you may be told you have reached urine. When this happens, you would insert a further 8 to 10 centimetres and then inflate the balloon. Inflate the balloon by connecting the water syringe to the green end of the catheter and pushing through all 10 millilitres of water. Once the balloon is inflated, pull back on the catheter until there is slight resistance to sight it at the base of the bladder. Then remove the remaining perforated packaging. Open out the catheter bag and place it on the bed. Remove the patient drape. Then always remember to retract the foreskin when finished. Cover up the patient and then remove your gloves in a pinch pull technique. Wash your hands using the seven steps of hand hygiene and you have completed the station.